James Kaufman, World News Report today. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been out of a proton storm for several days now. We had a polar cap absorption event that was ongoing and lasted much longer than I thought it should and really didn't think that there was enough proton seeping through the space weather threshold to cause such a long polar absorption event. But we had a little bump in the road with our protons yesterday. Why? I have no idea because we had no earth facing coronal mass ejections or, or even solar flares for that matter. But you can see our proton count went up. And what happened? Well, first I'll prove to you that we had no solar flares in this direction. This is our ghost proton flux. And we can all see after it moved down and we came out of a polar cap absorption event, it moved back up, but it didn't make it to the space weather threshold. If it would have made it, it would have been what? A solar storm, not a geomagnetic storm like we're expecting in a few hours. Now, I did hear some of the other space weather forecasters were just as baffled with me from the first polar cap absorption event. Now, whatever caused the protons to rise again put us back into a polar cap absorption event. This should tell us that we have no shields up whatsoever and that this coronal mass ejection could be bad stuff, as in severe or even more so. So, I can't imagine a polar cap absorption event, which are protons and x-rays pouring in our poles, lighting up our poles with radiation, being caused by protons that came nowhere near the space weather uh, threshold. And I'll show you all that again. Now we do, or we are coming out of that pole cap absorption event. Look at the radio alternation. It's mostly again in the North Pole, where usually we see these things in the South Pole. With that said, again, the proton levels came nowhere near where they usually have to come to cause an event like this. We're being fried like an egg in a pan here. And as you can see yesterday, there was nothing that happened that should have caused something like this. This other polar cap absorption event that had subsided was caused, well, we think by one of these flares or a flare that may be around the limb. But it was questionable also because these flares aren't very large. Well, it looks like they produce some really strong coronal mass ejections that are inbound. You'll see nothing yesterday to put us in a polar cap absorption event today after coming out of the polar cap absorption event. Now, everyone's going to start to ask what these are. Well, around this time of year, twice a year, GOES is eclipsed for a couple of minutes uh, by Earth. And this is a pattern that I've seen for years, so this is legit. And it's always around the same two times each day. This is our GOES X-ray flux. We would expect to see at least a decent-sized flare on here to put us back in this polar cap absorption event and to have the protons rise up again unless we absolutely have no shields up whatsoever. I'll show you those protons again because I personally have never seen anything like this and neither have any of the other space weather forecasters that I've talked to or listened to reports on online. And that would include your buddy SO. He's flabbergasted, I'm flabbergasted, but more so worried about what's inbound for today. So nothing occurred late yesterday, absolutely nothing that should have pushed the proton count up, even though it didn't hit the space weather threshold. 
we still got pushed into a polar cap absorption event, which is a big deal having that much radiation pour into our north and south poles. Ladies and gentlemen, I am more than worried about what might happen here uh, later this afternoon and into tonight. We will be live most likely tonight with this storm. God bless you guys. I thought I'd let you know if we thought the last polar cap absorption event was, well, unexplained. This one is much more so unexplained as y'all saw by the GOES X-ray flux. So we're currently in polar cap absorption event and I am sure that this might continue based on well the see me today and what happens as far as flares that may be earth facing. God bless. Please share, subscribe, and always remember anything's possible in the bizarro world.